श्रीमा वेकटनाथार्य कविताकिकेसरी वेदाताचार्य वर्ग्योमे सन्निधत्ता सदाकृति श्रीवासरंगपरखाल मुनिरेत्लक्ष्मात्मरक्षण युगागम आचार्यभक्तिपूतमर्गशील गोपाल देशिक मुनि गुरमाश्रयाम व्यास वशिष्ठनता शक्ते पौत्रमकमशं पराशरात्मज वंदे सुखतात तपोनिधि व्यासा विष्णु व्यासूपा विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्म निदय वाशिष्ठाय नमो नम सो दैंटींत श्लोक महाबुद्धिर्महवीर्यो महाशक्तिर्महाद्युति अनिर्देश्यवपुश्रीमात्मा महाद्रृत सो हियर महाबुद्धि He is of infinite knowledge, maha buddhi, infinite, absolute, immense knowledge, maha virya. He is of great strength, great virility, valor, maha shakti. He is of immense power, very powerful, omnipresent, omniscient, and omn. He is full of shakti, full of power, maha duti. Tejas, Maha Tejasvi, great splendor. Duty he means splendor. Tejasvi, full of effulgence. Anirdeshya Vapuhu, he is the one who possesses an indescribable body, ineffable, unfathomable, indescribable. He has got a body not like us, full of, full of uh, what do we say, impurity. Ayik udambu yechil vai, the hair, the skeleton, the blood, the pus, everything is there. Whereas his body is transcendental, suddha sattvam, purest sattvam. So he is of different material. Sri Man, he is possessed of beauty. He has Sri Mahalakshmi in his divine chest. He is pavitra na pavitramyo mangala na cha mangala. He is the purest of the pure and the auspicious of the auspiciousness. So, duty he, mahad duty he, anirdeshya vapu, Sri Man, possessed of beauty, ame atma. He is of incomprehensible nature. We cannot comprehend him. His nature is beyond beyond our imagination, beyond description. we can only see 1 millionth of his of his nature we can only feel understand comprehend one iota one fraction of his nature mahadrutrk the bearer bearer of great universe or mahadrutrt with it means the bearer of great mountain mantara mountain so both are right so here He is maha buddhi, infinite knowledge, possessing of great knowledge, and the omniscience of the supreme being. He knows everything, with reference to objects, with reference to all jivatmas in all places, at all times, under all circumstances of all nature. He can, he can see, he can know. it is true because it's not it is not doubtful or erroneous it is always correct whatever he knows that is why he is sakshi he is a witness to all our thoughts actions doings beings if we think that we are in a room alone we think nobody is watching and we can do anything he is watching it is also eternal because it's natural to him always not tainted by pain it's not the effect of karma or desire he is like that it does not st- he does not have to have eyes or other instrument of knowledge he can know just by his will by his sankalpam if he uses his organs of sense that is because of his free will because of his sankalpam he is lotus eyed lord he is pure he is faultless and he may use his eyes to see or even he may use us even ears to see how can the ears can see 
there is no restriction for rupa or rasa or uh, the shabda for him it can be recognized or cognized only by a particular sense organ for us but not for him how is it possible the upani the vyakhyata say the commentator say it seems the serpent the snake can even see or hear through the eye alone the snake has got eye but it does not have ear but it can it can it can hear it can listen to the sound from the eye so if it is possible even from the snake to hear from the eye why not the lord why is it if why do we think it is impossible so he is amazing he is maha buddhi and he is maha virya great virility great strength maha virya great strength bhagavan has the quality by virtue of which he remains unchanged he creates he protects he lifts the govardhana mountain with his little finger as cow herd by krishna but he does not get tired you hold one umbrella for one hour on that above your head one hour your head will pain excruciatingly however he does not get any kind of vikaram any kind of change so that quality unchanged or cause for change no cause so when the milk changes it becomes curd then it becomes butter then it becomes ghee whereas he doesn't change like that so maha virya maha shakti he is of immense power he can he is beyond lust beyond anger beyond jealousy he is full of transcendental qualities and form maha shakti maha dyuti his tejas his effulgent his splendor that's the one which distinguishes from others this effulgence is completely opposite of darkness which is ignorance in tamil alwar saint say this is irul tarumanyalam shri vaikuntham paramapadam is telivishum butirinaadu pagal kanden naranane kanden there in shri vaikuntham it is only brightness it is full of brightness tejas effulgence splendor whereas here it is fully dark it is irul tarumanyalam means it gives us darkness the ignorance the ajnanam the avidya we are completely engulfed by maya so so here mahadyuti bahat means it is it is a quality which is which is completely opposite of tiny his supreme power is revealed indeed as being varied natural associated with knowledge strength everything so the very fact bhagavan bhagavan means is knowledge knowledge power strength lordship heroism splendor gnanam balam aishwarya veeryam shakti tejas in vishnu puranam sage parashara maharishi who is the who is the grandfather of vyasa he says gnana shakti balaishwarya veerya tejam sa sheshatah bhagavat shabda vachyani vina heyai gunadibih so gnana bala aishwarya veerya shakti tejas constitute the definition bhagavan and he is completely devoid of any defect or any bad qualities like kamam krodham lobham moham madam matsaryam he is not affected by that so gnanam knowledge shakti power balam strength aishwaryam lordship wealth virya energy virility tejas splendor all these are talked about in this shloka in vishnu sagasnama these are the principal attributes and the possession of these make him bhagavan so vishnu purana defines bhagavan as the one who is endowed with these six qualities 
ज्ञान बल ऐश्वर्य वीर्य शक्ति तेजस नॉट अफेक्टेड बाई अदर क्वालिटीज विच वी हैव काम क्रोधम लोभम मोहम मदम मात्सर्य सो देर देर वॉज वन देर इज वन स्टोरी कनेक्टेड विथ देश वंश श्रीमद नारायण देर इज देर इज वन अष्टाक्षर मंत्र विनोद अष्टाक्षर मंत्र प्रणव नव नारायण दिस इज गिवन इनिशिएटेड बै गुर आचार्य टू द डिपल वेन ही अंडर गोज द इनिशिएशन द अष्टाक्षर मंत्र सो दिस नमो नारायण द मंत्र ईज actually should be learnt from a, at the feet of a guru then only it's powerful and it 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 the 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 essence of the meaning of the mantram is passed on to the disciple so shriman narayana wanted to show as an example so he took the avataram he took the form of a shishya called nara the the human being and he took the form of a narayana so nara and narayana they took this guru and shishya form and in badrinath in the in the north badri vishal near the near, and there in badrinath he took the nara narayana avataram and he initiated the nara with this ashtakshara mantra and both were performing penance tapas in order to show the example to the humanity that you also need to contemplate on this mantra and get uplifted get knowledge so when they were shining with tejas by contemplating on the ashtakshara mantra devendra who is the who is the chief of the devas he he was worried because he is also like us when somebody is he is uh, reciting vishnu sagasnamam or delivering vishnu sagasnamam meanings i get jealous oh my god now he is going to take take over from me he is going to surpass me he is going to tell so beautifully that everybody would go to him i am jealous of him because we are all ordinary mortal beings we get carried away by these defective qualities so devendra is not spared he also thought that these two rishis are going to perform tapas and they will become devendra they will catch hold of my position and they will the lord will kick me out he was worried of his power position seat so he he sent his his uh one of the men manmata manmata is was also in swarga so he called manmata go and tempt those two rishis with your karumb will he had a bow which is made of sugar cane and he sends the flower the flower arrow at any one and they will be caught by the god the cupid arrow and then they become lustful desires they get into kama mode so they so he sent the, to these two rishis they are shiva narayana themselves he is not affected by them they were continuing so he was shocked oh my god everybody used to get tempted by my arrow these two are not they are spared then shriman narayana showed themselves to him to manmata so he fell at their feet and sought forgiveness so immediately shriman narayana up made one deva madhu to appear one girl to appear so she, he she appeared from his thai the thai uru in sanskrit that it is called uru the thai that's why that that girl the deva madhu who appeared from his thai was called urvashi she became the one of the celestial damsels she was so beautiful she was so much you yeah what beautiful and pretty that now manmata became tempted manmata was influenced by this girl now he came to attack these two now he himself is under attack because of the maya because of the triguna sambandha so maha virya maha shakti maha buddhi maha dyutihi 
he is so wonderful he is such a great splendor anirdeshya vapu he possesses an in- indescribable body he takes the form of this his rupam with shankha chakram with chaturbhujam and he takes the avataram all because for his devotee otherwise he does not need to have his body to protect to create we can do that without taking even a body because he is sagasa shirisha purusha he is a, he is of thousand heads thousand hands thousand feet because he is he is the indweller in each one of us so he possesses a beautiful divya mangala vigraha the beautiful indescribable body in shri vaikuntham in the park kadal in chira abdinathan in milky way in the milky universe milky ocean and in the in the ramakrishna avataram in the shaligramam in the temples in our hearts as antaratma so he takes all these forms for us to contemplate his form that's all so that we understand his nature which is ameyatma he is sriman possessing of beauty ameyatma incomprehensible yeah, simply unfathomable nature he is he cannot be comprehended fully and he is he is quite consistent with the diverse quality and the form described by the veda vedantam that he is supreme majesty like a deep vast blue beautiful ocean and maha dhritrik he is the bearer the supporter of the great universe or he is the bearer of the supporter of the great mountain dhridhrti mountain mantara mountain as the kurma avataram he took a form of the tortoise tortoise and held on a shell the entire mantara mountain at the time of churning the milky ocean and he bore on his back the great mandara mountain so maha dhritrite such a wonderful lord vishnu may he protect all of us and keep us in the sattva gunam most of the time adiyen dhanyoshmi kavitarkika simhaya kalyana gunashalini shrimate venkateshaya vedanta gurave namaha